Listen up, here's a secret for you, many successful traders make a lot of money by following the trend of the stock market. They use a system called momentum trading, which works well with any type of asset. The idea is to find stocks that are moving quickly in one direction and jump in at the start of the movement and get out before it ends. But guess what? There's a hidden indicator on TradingView that can actually predict these momentum moves before they happen, and when you combine this indicator with our strategy, it can give you amazing results, even if you're new to trading. This indicator uses the same techniques that experienced traders use to make big profits in the market, not some simple tricks. People just like you have already made over $50,000 in monthly profits using this strategy. It'll show you exactly how to use this indicator for precise trades. But you need to pay close attention because every step is important. Your future success is in your hands, and the effort you put in today will pay off tomorrow. So, make sure to watch the whole video and listen carefully to everything I say. Let's get started right away. Alright, let's start by setting up the Elder Impulse system on TradingView. First, open TradingView and go to the Indicator tab. In the search box, type Elder Impulse System by Astro Lover Flow and click to apply it on the chart. Once it loads, you'll see an indicator that uses pure price action to detect bullish and bearish trends. And it can also show when market volatility has decreased in both up and down trends. The Elder Impulse System is a strategy created by Alexander Elder, a trader and author who knows a lot about technical analysis. The idea behind this strategy is that the market moves in cycles, shifting from low volatility to high volatility. To figure out what's going on, the system uses two indicators, a 13-period EMA and the MACD histogram. Now, let's talk about the different bar colors on the chart. When you see green bar, it means there's a bullish momentum. For that to happen, two conditions have to be met. The current value of the MACD histogram should be higher than the previous value and the current value of the EMA should be higher than the previous EMA. On the other hand, when you see a red bar, it indicates a bearish momentum. This happens when both the EMA and the MACD histogram drop. If you see a blue bar, it means that the EMA and MACD give opposite signals. Now, let's talk about how to use this strategy for trading. To buy, you'll need to identify an uptrend. Wait for a couple of blue bars, and then enter the trade when a green bar shows up. This way, you aim to catch strong and confident moves in the market. To sell, you do the opposite. Identify a downtrend, wait for a couple of blue bars, and then enter the trade when a red bar appears. This signals a bearish trend continuation. However, before executing any trades, it is crucial to pay attention to some important rules to avoid false signals and improve your accuracy up to 95%. Now, let's configure the settings. Open the indicator style settings and change the color number 2 to match the color of the chart. Since the chart is black, we'll use black for this to make it less noticeable. Then, go to the chart settings and adjust the body and border of the candles to ash color. By doing this, the indicator's bar colors will be more visible. Leave all the other settings unchanged. To make the most of this incredible indicator, let's add one more indicator to the chart. This will help us catch those strong bullish and bearish moves early on. Just add the STD filter non-pole Gaussian filter by locks to the chart. Once it's added, double-click on it to access the settings. In the style settings, uncheck the bar color, and also uncheck the long and short options. Click the OK button to fully apply it to the chart. This filter is great for smoothing out the chart. It's even better than an EMA when it comes to rejecting high frequencies, and it also has lower lag. Now let's see how to use this indicator. We only take buy trades when the line turns green. For short trades, we take them when the line changes to red. However, I must mention that this indicator has a flaw. Sometimes, it can give false signals, leading to losing trades. That's why it's crucial to combine it with our other impulse system. By doing so, we'll get more accurate signals and avoid many losing trades. Let's take a closer look at how to use this powerful indicator to open trades. This part is really important, so pay close attention. To initiate buy trades, we focus on the STD Gaussian indicator. When we see the indicator change from red to green, it confirms that the price is now moving in a bullish direction, meaning prices are likely to keep going up. We then wait for a strong pullback in the market. To identify a strong pullback, 
We look for a red candlestick while the Gaussian indicator is still green. Once we spot the dip, we want to ensure that the candlestick closes below the Gaussian indicator while it remains green. When all these conditions are met, we wait for the next green candlestick from our impulse indicator, which indicates the start of the next bullish wave. If all entry rules are satisfied, we can open a buy order at the close of the trigger candlestick. We set the stop loss at the lows of the most recent swing low. As for taking profit, we aim for a target that is twice the amount we risked in the market. You can also choose to stay in the trade until we receive a new signal from the Gaussian filter. Following these steps, we can see that this particular trade yielded a lot of profit. Now, you might wonder why I didn't take another trade even though the conditions for entry were present. The reason is that it's advised to take trades only once per Gaussian signal. Taking multiple trades might lead to more losses at the end of the trend than wins. So it's crucial to avoid making this mistake. Now, let's discuss the opposite, which is a sell signal. First, we want the Gaussian indicator to change to red. Then, we wait for the price to pull back and the candlestick to close above the Gaussian moving average. While this is happening, we also want to see the candlestick change to green. Finally, we take trades at the next red candlestick, as long as the Gaussian indicator is still red. For the stop loss, we use the most recent swing high, and for take profit, we aim for a target that is twice the amount we risked in the market. Following these steps, we can make effective sell trades. By combining these two indicators, you have the potential to improve your trading accuracy and achieve impressive results in the stock market. Remember, successful trading requires careful observation and attention to detail. Make sure to identify strong bullish and bearish trends using the indicators, and wait for the right conditions to enter a trade. Avoid taking multiple trades per Gaussian signal to prevent potential losses. Consistency and discipline are key to your success as a trader. Continuously analyze your trades, learn from both successes and failures, and refine your approach accordingly. The market may be volatile, but with the right tools and knowledge, you can navigate it skillfully. Always stay informed about market trends and news, as they can significantly impact your trading decisions. And most importantly, don't forget that trading involves risk, so never invest more than you can afford to lose. Now that you have a better understanding of this strategy, it's time to put it into practice. Take your time to study the indicators, practice on demo accounts, and gradually transition to real trading when you feel confident. Remember, every step you take today will contribute to your success tomorrow. Keep honing your skills, stay patient, and trust in the process. With dedication and determination, you can become a successful trader and achieve your financial goals. Thanks for watching and see you until the next one.